Hi friends, Mrs. Semek here for our final lesson this week. Can you believe it? Happy Thursday, happy soon to be winter break. You guys have been working so hard and you so deserve this break here. So I thought we would have some fun today. All right, for our reading lesson. And as you can see here, I'm sitting on Santa's lap. <laughs> and the title of our lesson today is Dear Santa, I can explain dot, dot, dot. So we're going to have some fun with writing a letter to Santa, but it's not going to be from our point of view. Oh, no. We're going to write a letter to Santa from the point of view of a well-known villain. Hmm. So we're going to take on the role as the villain as if we were the villain ourselves. Try to write to Santa and please, please, please keep us on the good list, right? Not the naughty list. So when I say villain, I want us to think of what are some infamous villains, some familiar villains that we know in stories or movies and things that maybe we have read or that we have seen. So hmm, let's brainstorm here. We're going to do a little bubble map here and kind of brainstorm a, a brainstorm, excuse me, a list of popular villains and stories, movies, and fairy tales. So the first one that always pops in my mind is the big bad what? Wolf, right? I always think of the big bad wolf as a very popular villain. What else? I know there's a villain who's pretty popular this time of the year all in green and he is going to try to ruin christmas for the who's down in whoville what is his name oh you know him we know him as the grinch right oh the grinch okay hmm what else what's another one another villain you're thinking of well, one of my all-time favorite, favorite movies is The Wizard of Oz. And old Dorothy, there was a witch who was out to get her and her ruby red slippers, right? And so she was known as the Wicked Witch, right? Uh, the Wicked Witch of the West. I'll put her in here. Hmm. Let's try one more. Oh, there's so many I know that we could think of here. But... Another one I'm kind of thinking of would be, hmm, let's think of Harry Potter. Who was the major villain? Now, there were a couple villains in Harry Potter, but the big villain, the main one that Harry had to take on, do you remember him? Lord what? Voldemort, right? So, oops, misspelled his name. So Lord Voldemort there was our main villain in this. So I'm just going to quickly kind of connect these here to finish out our bubble map. So we talked about the big bad wolf, Wicked Witch of the West. We have our Grinch. Oh, I need to pick up my little here, my mouse here. And Lord, Lord Voldemort. There, there's plenty of other villains. And I want you guys to choose one, think one that you know a lot about that you might want to write from their point of view, from their perspective. Let's have some fun with this today. So we've been given a letter and Santa here is giving us one last chance as villains in these children's stories. And, he, and Eddie the Elf, and this is some stress up at Elf as well. <laughs> so Eddie the Elf has decided, you know what, I'm going to write on behalf of Santa here, okay, and he's going to give us our directions. So let's see what Eddie says. Dear villain, I'm writing to inform you that you have been placed on Santa's official naughty list. Bum, bum, bum. However, in keeping with his forgiving nature and remembering the holiday spirit, Santa is willing to give you one chance to plead your case. If you are unable to persuade Santa of your in innocence, your placement on the naughty list will be permanent. Sincerely, Eddie the Elf, CEO of the naughty list. So he is the main elf in charge. All right. So we've got to persuade Santa. So what does that mean, persuade? Hmm. We got to convince him. Oh my goodness. We do not need to be on that naughty list. We deserve to be on the nice list, right? So some of you are maybe thinking, well, how am I going to write a letter to plead my case? So I want us to kind of break this down. Let's think about maybe here, okay, how we could plan this letter out. And I'm going to give you an example here too. Now in your Google Classroom, you're going to see how I have this already in there for you. Why don't you plan out paragraph one, two, and three and type in your name here, okay, before you jump into writing your letter. Of course, we know our letter has to start off with a greeting, right? Dear Santa. 
And in the first paragraph, I want you to introduce yourself. So who are you? What is the villain you've taken on? And tell me, what are you famous for? Oh dear, why does everybody know you? Okay. In paragraph two, you're going to explain why you were not responsible for what people accuse you of. So maybe there's some kind of misunderstanding. All right. So why are you innocent? Plead your case. And the final one, my dogs are very excited to hear this as well. Sorry for the barking. Paragraph three, what Christmas wish or present would you like Santa to bring you and why? Remember, you're asking as your villain, not yourself, because you're writing from your villain's point of view. So what is it you're asking for? Again, some of you may be thinking, well, again, I, I, I'm having a hard time with this. So what I've done is I have taken on the role as the big bad wolf. Okay. And I've kind of given you a sort of example. And then also what we're looking for as far as scoring your letter to Sansa this year. So here we go. The only thing that got cut off is obviously our letters need to start with a greeting, Dear Santa. I'm going to start by introducing myself. It's me, the big bad wolf. I know you've heard some unpleasant things about me, but you shouldn't listen to those three little pigs. Once you hear my side of the story, I'm sure you'll understand. So already I am introducing myself here as the big bad wolf and explaining that this is a misunderstanding and those three little pigs do not understand what happened. Now here I'm going to plead my case, why I'm innocent and why I should not be on this naughty list. Hmm, I can explain, Santa. I wasn't after those sweet little pigs. I know you've heard that I was huffing and puffing at their door, but what they neglected to tell you is that I was having an asthma attack. I went to visit my first little pig in his house made of straw, but the straw caused my asthma to act up. And before I knew what was happening, I was huffing and puffing and trying to catch my breath. Well, that first little pig took off before I could explain what was happening. And so I followed him to his brother's door, his brother's house, excuse me, in hopes they could help me. When I arrived at their door, still trying to catch my breath, they took off again. Now, having heard through the grapevine that the third little pig suffered the same asthma condition as myself, I followed the pigs there hoping to borrow a puffer and relieve my attack. Can you believe these three little pigs refused to open the door to help a fellow animal in need? Left with no choice. My situation was dire, Santa. I had to get in the house the only way I could, through the chimney. Now remember, that third one, you've already pleaded your case, explaining why he was not guilty. Now I want to know what is the present or the Christmas wish you're asking for. As you can see, Santa, I have no choice. I would never even dream of hurting a single hair on their chinny chin chins. If I could ask for one more thing, Santa, for Christmas, I would like a large canned ham and a subscription to the Bacon of the Month Club. <laughs> I think a good solid meal will help me get my asthma under control. Your friend in the woods, the big bad wolf. And make sure, friends, you have a closing, like your friend, sincerely, and then the name of the villain that you've chosen here, okay? So I've given you a good example here of if I'm writing on behalf of the Big Bad Wolf, what my letter to Santa would look like. Now, we're obviously going to look at nothing but level fours because we want the best score possible. Remember with your idea, I want an excellent creative evidence of ideas. I want you to try to persuade me. If I was Santa, what are you going to say to me? Make sure you've organized it in the three paragraphs that I asked. Make sure you have a constant of use of that persuasion. I want to hear a good, clear voice of how you're going to convince me that you're innocent. And then, of course, pay attention to your capitalization, punctuation, and your spelling. Okay, Typing it can help because you're going to see those little red squiggly lines if you misspell it. All right. Now, once you've planned it out, on your Google slide, I've also given you some kind of fun seasonal type stationery that you can actually type up that good copy, your final copy here on the stationery in there. And friends, I cannot wait to read your Santa letters. Get creative. You can take on here, I mean, the Abominable Snowman, the Wicked Witch, the Joker from Batman, the Grinch, Lord Voldemort, uh, Cruella de Vil from the Dalmatians. I mean, I could go on and on. Darth Vader for all you Star Wars fans of different villains you could take on. So have some fun with it and can't wait to see what you guys come up with for your Santa letters. All right, friends, hope you enjoy and have a fantastic winter break. You definitely earned it.